Hey, Kim here from Craft Buggy. Today we're gonna be making these resin bookmarks made with alcohol ink, and I love how they turned out. They're so much fun, and the best part, they're very simple to make. I will show you four different methods on how to make these. I'm gonna be using three different types of alcohol ink, two of which you've probably heard of before. One of them you might not have, but um, I ordered on Amazon. I wanted to see how it worked and turned out, and I'm actually really pleased with it. So I will show you just how easy this is to do. For this project, you're gonna need a resin of some kind. So I'm gonna be using the Pro Marine brand today, but another good brand that I really love is this amazing clear cast resin. It just mixes very nicely and I've noticed very few air bubbles. So that's a perk. I do love this brand. I'll post the link below for both of those. And then you're gonna need supplies for mixing. So, you know, I love my silicone resin uh, or my uh, silicone measuring cup and then a stir stick of some kind and then gloves and then a respirator just so that you're not inhaling all those vapors and um, toxic fumes. And then if you're having any trouble with or questions with how to mix resin properly, I put together a video for you. I will link that below. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. And then the fun part of this project is the alcohol ink. So I'm going to be using three different brands. The two main brands that you've probably heard of are this Pinata brand and then the Tim Holtz. Um, and then this other brand I found on Amazon, it just had a lot of really fun, vibrant colors. It's called Decor Rom. And it came in a pack of like 18 and it was pretty inexpensive. And I do love how they all work together. So I'm gonna be using all three of those. Um, one thing to note is this um, Tim Holtz, the pearl. This one is more of an iridescent color. And so um, I just wanted to show you what that looks like with everything. It just kind of gives it a really subtle shimmer. So I really love that. And then I'm gonna do one bookmark where I'm not using any white color at all. And then a couple others I'm gonna be using the white. I just feel like the white helps everything sink, the, the color sink, and then it also just helps bring everything out and makes it a little bit more vibrant. So I will show you different techniques associated with that. And I'll just show you just how easy this is. I've already gone ahead and mixed um, 25 milliliters of side A and side B into the silicone cup. I stirred it and mixed it completely for about four and a half, five minutes. And now I'm just gonna pour it into these molds here. And then I like to take my popsicle stick and make sure that it's worked into every corner and around the back behind that little knob where the tassel goes. Over time, it'll even itself out if you just give it a couple minutes. But that's what you're gonna do on every single one. All right, now that I have all of these filled in, typically this makes um, six bookmarks. I'm only gonna make four today. I'm gonna use the rest of the resin for another project. Um, but I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm gonna work out some of those air bubbles. All right, now that a lot of those air bubbles are worked out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a couple different methods. So we're doing rainbow. So I'm gonna start with Red. I'm gonna do orange. You can add as little or as much as you want. And I just love this. It's beautiful. I might add another drop. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this flamingo. I don't know if that zoomed in. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love that. I think I might add a little bit more red. There are no rules. 
and it's gonna keep spreading out over time. And then this one I'm going to leave like that so you can see what it looks like without the white. And then this next one, same thing, we're gonna do rainbow. I'm gonna do more red. I'm so happy. A little bit of this flamingo. And then I'm going to add some white from the Pinata brand to show you what kind of effects this has. It's just beautiful. You can just see it just spreads out really well. And the, the white also helps it to sink a little bit. And then And with this one, I'm gonna add the white, but I'm also gonna add this pearl on top of it. This is a Tim Holtz. <clears throat> and so you have to shake this one beforehand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the white real quick. And then I might actually See what it's like if I add another red on top of that. Oh, I like that. And then I'm gonna add the pearl on top of that. Oh, that's beautiful. You can see it just continues to spread. I added a little too much pearl there, but that's okay. I guess you can never have too much shimmer. Okay. Oh, that looks like tie-dye. I just love it. And then what I'm going to do I'm going to add the white immediately now Sometimes timing is everything so we're just playing with it to see what we like the best Okay, so now we have everything 
everything done here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it looks like to just kind of swirl it around a little bit. So I think I might do, I might do this one and just to kind of show you what it looks like all swirly. Love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just leave those. Oh, they look so pretty. I'm just gonna let those sit overnight and let's see what they look like in the morning because all we're gonna have to do after that is add a top coat just to kind of make everything extra shiny and pretty. But you can see how easy alcohol, it, alcohol ink is. I just love it. Now that it has been, I actually have waited about 24 hours. And so now I'm just gonna put the final top coat on. You really don't have to, um, but I like to do that just because it gives it, I just like the appearance a little bit more. It makes it look a little bit more dome-like. So I already mixed, um, 30 milliliters total, so 15 milliliters um, side A and side B, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into onto the top here. And then I just wanna I just wanna take my popsicle stick and make sure. Every corner is hit with resin here. Usually does a pretty good job leveling itself out, but it's nice to just kind of help it out a little bit. If it touches the edges too much, not a big deal. You can always sand that very lightly at the end, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so you want to do that same thing for every single one of these. Now that we have all of our red, all of our top coat on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of heat. Um, this will just help pop the bubbles that have already come to the surface and it just kind of helps level out that resin. <laughs> All right, so this particular resin takes 72 hours to fully cure. So I will see you then, and then we'll take it out of these molds. I'm so excited. I went ahead and waited an extra day before taking these out of the molds because they were still a little bit soft and movable. Um, and I didn't want that, especially when I know I was gonna have to um, sand a little bit. You can see the edges here, like right there where some of the resin has lifted up. Um, that's a really easy fix. I'm gonna take either a 400 or a 2000 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna lightly sand the edges of these bookmarks. Once I'm done with that, I'll meet you right back and I'll show you all the final products. Now that I have sanded these bookmarks, I wanted to show you the different methods that I use at the fronts and the backs. Some of these, the back looks cooler than the front. Um, so this is the most basic method we did. Um, this is literally just the colors that we, we just put a little dot in certain areas and just let it blend. Um, and the back is pretty much the same as the front. Um, and then this one is where we did the colors and then we put a dot of white in the middle. Um, I love this. The colors stand out really well. And then here's the back. I'm obsessed with that. I think it is so pretty. And then this one, this is the one where we did the um, colors and then with the um, Tim Holtz pearl. And it's kind of hard to see. It's a little, there we go. Well, the glare is kind of in the way, but you can see it's a little bit shiny and iridescent in those areas. And then here's the back. It's so fun. I just love that. 
And then here is, this was the one that we did the colors and then the white dot in the middle. And then we took a toothpick and we swirled it. I think that turned out really pretty. And then here's the back. Oh, I'm obsessed. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I think they all turned out so pretty in their, in their own way. I'm so happy with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And I hope that this, if you're new to alcohol ink, I hope that this gave you a little bit more clarity. Um, honestly, bookmarks, coasters, anything that's like a flat surface is the easiest thing to practice alcohol inks on. And I just think they're so much fun. It's really hard to mess it up because the colors blend so nicely and they run together very well. And um, but if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at my site, craftbuggy.com. I'm also going to have detailed written instructions on how to create these bookmarks. Um, and then if you like this video, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And then don't forget to hit that like button. And then we'll see you next time for the next craft.